hiding elements in Moodle can help us to make Moodle a little bit less cluttered. Moodle has what is sometimes called a long scroll of depth because you can just scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. It also takes longer to load for students. If you want to decrease uh, how long it takes to load the site for students and also make it a little bit neater, you can do a couple things. One of them is to don't add as much content within the home page and instead add pages with additional information. So instead of, for example, adding this content within the home page, I created a sub page with that information. So restrict sometimes your usage of labels. Another way to decrease the load in the front page is for students is to hide the blocks that they're not currently going to be using. So if you hover over the eye, I'll tell you hide topic. So go ahead and hide that topic. Hide the other topics as well. We haven't hit them all yet, but I think you'll get the meaning. So we hit most of the topics. If you notice, you can't really hide the top box. The top box can then be used for materials that you always want students to be able to see. You can't get rid of it. It's always there. You can hide items within it, but you can't really hide the box itself. Wait, let's hide this one over as well. So now if I switch my role to student, the course has now been reduced in size. It's a much shorter scroll. Um, it's still a large course, but there's a lot less to scroll down, whereas before we had a lot more to scroll down if we wanted to see the whole course. So that's one way to hide boxes. Another thing that you can do is highlight a box that you want them to pay attention to. Again, box and are used for weeks or topics. So let's turn editing on. We'll unhide this box and also turn on the light bulb. So now if we switch role to students, that box is now highlighted, telling students that's the box that you currently pay the most attention to. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.